back to another Welcome back to another episode of Famous Reality TV, and I'm coming to you all tonight with some Deja Vu Miami. Now, it went down tonight, y'all. It was so doggone crazy. It was so much going on. I don't even know where to begin, but I guess I'll start where it left off last. Now, y'all know they had the doggone uh, photo shoot and stuff, which they did for their video that is for the uh show and you had sydney star you know they all leaving at the club now kenzie then jumped on sydney star he didn't beat her up stomping her and then we had holly jumping in now like i said on my last video about deja vu miami i said that you know she had the nerves to be praying for abby when she turned around and was doing all this bull crap to sydney so y'all know after all of that went on some other dude i guess came with sydney them to the club he tried to fight quality cologne now it didn't seem like Cologne wanted to fight the boy. He was saying something about, you know, us trans people and stuff like that sometimes have things. So he looks sickly, so I don't want nothing to transfer. The boy didn't look sickly to me. He looked better than the other dude that Sydney brought initially. So I don't know what was up with that part, but Quality wasn't trying to go there with the boy. So in the midst of all of that going on, your boy, um, the light skin went on the show. I can't think of his name right now. Prince. He ended up getting caught up in the maze that was being sprayed when they was trying to break up all of them from fighting. So he over there choking and stuff while all this crap still going on with Kenzie and Sydney. Now, Kenzie then got cut like a deep gash across his wrist. And probably if it would have went a little bit more to the side or a little bit deeper, he probably wouldn't be here today. Because that right there is, you know what I'm talking about, that S-I-D-E type of thing. That's one of those type of cuts that could end you, like, for real. So, that was crazy right there. And Sydney was saying, you know, she did, was not the one that cut him. Now, there was a few people in that huddle when Sydney was on the ground trying to break them up. Maybe they had keys on them. Like, they could have had anything. Maybe his wrist got caught up with the security and, and, and they had something. I don't know. But Sydney is maintaining her innocence that she did not cut. Kenzie, you all let me know your opinion down in the comment section if you think Kenzie cut Sydney cut Kenzie or not, but I mean, if she did, it's messed up for him because he's cut, but at the same time, you ran up on that girl, and if you was out there in the streets after a club running up on anybody else, they're going to have a weapon. It could be knife, it could be mace, it could be a gun, it could be anything. That's just what happens when you run up on people. So I did not like the fact that she was already on the ground. Holly didn't have no business coming stomping on Sydney and stuff like that. Let them dudes handle that. Yeah, I know Sydney was popping her stuff at you on the yacht and all that stuff like that, but that situation was already in the midst of going on. Like, you calling it a tag team, it was jumping. And to piggyback on what I said again, I know a lot of people like Holly, but then... With the Abby situation, I said something about. With this situation, with Sydney, I said something about. And then, again, turn around. Now, Gucci talking about he met her years ago, and they didn't mess around three times. But, yeah, she's sitting and sitting up in that house like them girls from Thoughts, and they nasty and was saying stuff like that. But you ain't told nobody that you even know Gucci and that y'all didn't mess around, child. I can't take y'all people serious. Stop coming on these shows, acting like y'all these changed people, y'all these holier-than-thou people. I'm not trying to hit that mess. You sign up for a show on Now That's TV and in big less words, Now That's TV real, Robbie. So stop, stop it. Stop acting like in Gucci words like you innocent because you are not. So now Holly, they get back to the house and stuff. Sydney pull up with the two dudes. Of course, the one she brought at first and one of the dudes that met at the club that was trying to fight Kenzie. And of course, like I said, Kenzie's hand is cut so they wasn't letting Kenzie outside and they wasn't letting Quality outside. Kenzie then grabbed some doggone scissors talking about he gonna hurt somebody. Then you got Quality. He didn't grab some flat iron talking about slapping Sydney with him. Just a whole bunch of craziness on the show. And so, you know, the people were basically accusing Sydney and it was going around on IG that Sydney had cut Kenzie. But, like I said, Sydney is maintaining that she did not cut Kenzie. So, after not being allowed to come into the house and all of that crap, you know, they went on by their way. Now, we didn't turn to the people in the house getting into it, and they realized that Abby's friend was still there and that she actually stayed the night. So, Holly had an issue with that. So, she came down and talked to the cast and was like, y'all know that girl's still upstairs, right? She didn't stay the night. Blase, blase. So, she took it upon herself and everybody to go upstairs and tell the girl she needs to pack her stuff because she had an overnight bag and she needs to be getting up out of there or whatever the case because she wasn't supposed to be staying. So, of course, that made Abby upset and Abby got the popping off like, y'all just ain't finna come check me and check my friend like that. This is my space. 
Then they were saying that Abby room stunk and that it smelled like throw up and stuff like that, you know, disrespecting the girl. So Abby was like, Holly, you look like you ain't took a bath in days. So of course Holly got mad and she threw a bottle, water bottle, she threw glass and everything and went into Abby room fighting the girls in the closet like she has to get that same thing that people are saying about Cookie. The same thing has to apply to Holly. Why y'all won't leave this girl alone? This girl is minding her business. Her friend being there is bothering y'all. How? Now, Abby says that they told her something. The producers, I don't know. Holly's saying that, no, nah, they didn't tell you that. I don't know. Either way, it is what it is. Now, Abby, friend talking about, if you touch me, I'm going to file a lawsuit. I'm going to sue you. Well, girl, you shouldn't even came up in the house because I'm sure your friend already told you she was getting jumped on before you even came. So you shouldn't even stay the night. Being that all that stuff was going on at the club, you should have thought to yourself, there's a possibility I might get into it. one of these crazy people based on what's going on and what I've already been informed on. What has happened? I'm going to go home, girl. I'm going to holler at you when you get off the shop. No, you decided to stay the night. So you was a part of that drama and that craziness the next day. But like I said, I do not feel like it was warranted for Holly to put her hands on Abby. Now, we got Gucci, y'all. And I'm looking at him like, I don't know if somebody done gave this man something. If he didn't took some of what's going on. But it seemed like he had a lot of aggression going on that morning. Now, remember, y'all, earlier on the, uh, it might have been at the end of last episode, actually. Uh, he told Diamond that she was going to have to get him some of that cookie. And I ain't talking about cookie, if you know what I mean. But uh, because he had that altercation with quality because of her. And she was like, oh, I got to give you some just because you fought for me. And uh, he was like, yeah, you know, you better get somebody else to do that type of stuff. So I don't know if he got some that night or not, but he must have been upset. Maybe she was messing with Cookie that night. I don't know. But uh, that might be why, actually, why he got up that next day with the aggression that he had. Because him and Andy, of course, had been cool all along. Now, he says that Andy bumped into him aggressively a little bit because he was kind of aggressive before or whatever or looking a certain kind of way before he bumped into him and once he andy bumped into gucci allegedly you know gucci got upset so they got face to face with the drama and gucci didn't haul off and rap andy so doggone hard i was like oh my god like this mighty morphing power range looking at like, what's going on with you? And I didn't even see Diamond, so uh, I don't know what was going on with that or Cookie. So, like I said, I don't know. Maybe they spent the night together and your boy is hot about it. But so much to the point, like I said, where he had to call out Holly and let us know. Like I said earlier, they didn't slept together three times. So, all of these girls have been passed around on this show by Gucci. And allegedly, I don't know what's going on with Kenzie and, and the quality T cologne situation. But that was about it that went on on this doggone episode, y'all. It was a doggone hot mess. But we got your girl, Michelle, here. And she's just pretty much talking about the show. And she's one of my favorite people because she's really down to earth. She's very confident. She kind of stay in the background of the bull crowd. She don't take no mess. She bout that action if it come to it and all the rest of it. And seems to be one of the ones that, you know, are staying out of stuff for the most part, besides the situation that she had with Cookie. Now, allegedly, y'all, coming up on, I don't know if it's going to be the next episode or some episode coming up, there's actually going to be a altercation between Michelle and Diamond the Body. So, we'll just have to wait to see that. But make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to Famous Reality TV, and click that notification bell. Because you already know, this is about to get real. Hey, y'all. Fire away. Fire away, please. Ask away. Y'all, Hey, thank you. <laughs> hey. Don't get on my live talking fucking crazy because I definitely block. I block real bad. Second offense. Chill out. I 
I didn't even see the episode yet. I ain't gonna lie. I'm the worst cast member on earth. Alright. He's gotta go. I had to block his ass, child. He's gotta go. I didn't see it, but I was there in the house when it happened. So, but I didn't even see the shit yet. I gotta watch the episode. I didn't even see it. I am sweet. I'm real sweet. I don't even play like that. I'm real sweet in real life. But thank you. But just people be trying it. So it'd be like, bitch, don't get it fucked up. I'll spaz the fuck out in this bitch. Just like everybody else. Just like everybody motherfucking else. I need to watch the episode though. I ain't gonna lie, I'm bored as hell at work, but I'm finna watch the episode right now. Hey. Period. Thank you. Yeah, I know. I finna watch that shit right now, bitch. I'm trying so hard not to order some chicken wings, y'all. I'm trying my damn hardest. I'm an Aquarius. One thing about Cologne, he gonna spaz the fuck out on anybody. Period. Period. Yeah, I'm finna watch this shit. Honestly, I'm finna walk around like one more time. And if these bitches in here still be acting funny, I'm finna sit the fuck down, order some chicken. Just like everybody else in this bitch. <laughs> I'm from Florida. Period. Gang, gang, gang. <laughs> One thing about Cologne, he finna rush through anything in his motherfucking way. Do not play with that bed. I swear to God. I feel like if Cologne really wanted to drag the fuck out Gucci, he could. I ain't met a bitch Cologne who could be Cologne ass yet. Um, what's my favorite part about being on Deja Vu? Honestly, just like, probably just, I was so surprised that y'all like me. I think the best thing I'm getting out of this is like seeing like, okay, like it's okay to be yourself. I love the platform. Yeah, like I love meeting all the new people, whether they was good or bad. You know, I don't never wish bad on nobody, even if I don't fuck with you, even if I don't like you. I always, you know, want the best and stuff. So I feel like all together, it's a good cast and... It was just good to be kind of put out of my comfort zone a little bit. Because, y'all, I'm real shy in real life. I don't fuck with people. I do not leave my house. I do not talk to nobody. I don't I don't get in drama because I'm never around it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, but I ain't never in drama because I ain't never around it. I literally do not deal with it. Like, I, I, I haven't dealt with drama since I probably got to that fucking house. It's been years. I don't do that. Unless it's like drama with whoever I'm fucking with, cause child, we be toxic. Seems like everybody I get with, bitch, it be some toxic shit going on. And it be like, for what? Thank you. No, y'all being nice to me. <laughs> no, I ain't from Fort Lauderdale, but shit, I've been here long enough. The fuck? I've been in this bitch about long enough. I'm from Florida though, but I ain't from I ain't from up here. I'm from down like north of Florida where shit makes sense. People just a little bit more realer. Just a little bit more realer. Thank you. Y'all was tripping on that show for real. I don't even know why y'all be supporting me and my dumb ass, bro. I be tripping. <laughs> it's either I'm saying something funny, saying something real, or I'm eating some shit. <laughs> I love y'all. Thank you. I'm an Aquarius. Oh, period. Orlando. I don't know. People from Florida, boy. No, I ain't never worked in Atlanta. I don't know. Y'all, I gotta watch the fucking episode because I swear them cameras was catching a whole bunch more shit that we wasn't catching or I didn't because I be so in my own world, bitch. I don't be knowing what the fuck going on in that bitch. I be walking in the room like, what? No! 
very much unbothered. I be un the fuck bothered. Like, what is going on, child? But one thing about it, y'all, I'm real nosy. I'm real nosy. I swear. Gemini, the Gemini. second is some drama, some shit going on, I'm like, who said it? Who did it? You gonna hit him? <laughs> Period. I don't know. I don't think I'm really nowhere in this episode, for real, for real. I ain't gonna lie. I haven't even seen the episode, but I don't think I'm in it. Because ain't nobody been tagging me and shit. And usually people be tagging me. So, it look, look like they was that fucking with me today. Um, My birthday, February 5th. I don't know about no Florida motherfuckers. Okay, I'm a Florida motherfucker. And I ain't got time for another me. I don't know, man. Honestly, when they was fighting, I probably was somewhere in the house, no cap, probably just drinking, talking. I probably was just running my fucking mouth, per usual. One day about me, y'all, I ramble. Like, I can you get me in a room? Bitch, I'ma talk the whole time. Like, to the point where a bitch gotta be like, shut the fuck up. Or just like, girl, you still talking? And I'd be like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't go. I ain't going to no. And well, my my sister in Atlanta, so I be going there. I'm February fifth. Period. Period. Hey, honey. I'm dead. It says Sydney a track star. What they bought it, but it was taking the fuck off. It was taking it off. Y'all I'm gonna make a motherfucking video. Uh happy birthday. If I don't see you then. <laughs> That's unfortunate, cause I bet a bitch be trying to give you double gift. I bet a bitch be trying to give you like be trying to fake give double gifts because it's your birthday and it's Valentine's Day. They be trying to mix the two. That's real Aggie. That's what happened to my sister. My sister birthday on the 28th. So, bitch, she got to know. She getting all her presents at one time on Christmas. Bitch, one thing. You too close. <laughs> her manager tried it this episode. Oh, yeah. Nine times out of ten, if it was anybody who city brought, they was definitely fixing to get their ass beat the fuck up in that house. Just because it was, they was, everybody, they just doing too much. Let me tell you something. Hey, my, my dog is soldier. Bitch, y'all finna see me, bitch. I'm finna have a big ass, fat ass black eye. Y'all gonna see. And don't care. Said mine's on 11. <laughs> friend of me, friend of me, any me. All these next next just want to be a mini me. All these next next just want to be a mini me. All these next next just want to be a mini me. Friend of me, 